good morning it's thursday april twelfth two thousand and eighteen today we're going back to that house in burlington new jersey that we did the twenty foot high dry wall repair we got a little bit of light sanding to do on the dry wall and then we're going to paint the wall stay tuned right after this Get in there. We got all the plastic covering the furniture and the window openings. We got the canvases on the floor, the ladders in place. Got to sand some drywall. me sanding the wall with here is a green 3M sanding sponge. I really don't use anything but this. I do have a pole sander that I'll pull out occasionally if I have a big job on the ceiling, but anything small like this, I always reach for these. They have a nice little angle on them, so when you want to get right into the corner, it works real well. They don't clog up full of drywall dust, and uh, they really they help you create a really nice finish. So if you're going to sand something down, you know, use your lightweight top coat, and, and this, this sanding sponge will really, really help you out a lot. You always want to use your hand to feel for the blemishes in the drywall that you're sanding. Your eye is not reliable, it cannot see everything, so you can definitely feel every imperfection. Screw's not into much right there. That could be vacuumed out too. Unless that's paint that got sprayed in there, I'm not really sure. Make sure you take the time with a damp cloth to wipe the entire wall down. Get all the dust from sanding the drywall off of it. If you want your paint to adhere well and you don't want the customer to call you back and tell you that the paint's flaking off, take them extra few minutes and do this. It's an important step. Now I don't show it in this video here, but I already wiped the top part of this wall down and now I'm working on the lower half. So the house we're at today is in Burlington, New Jersey. The wife here is an accomplished published author who's written many books about Elton John and I'm assuming other people as well. And she has met Elton John. The husband is an attorney that represents the mentally challenged people um, from some particular town or, or organization or, or something of that nature. Or maybe it's for a whole county or something. I'm not really entirely sure. So he's an attorney and she's an author and uh, they have a very nice home they're trying to keep it good and that's what we're doing here today they had a leak in the roof we patched the drywall uh, it's like a 20 foot ceiling there's a video on that in fact i think it's one of the first videos that we've made for this channel and then today we're back after the drywall's all done we sanded the last bit of drywall we're going to put a couple coats of primer a couple coats of paint on the wall and just a little bit onto the ceiling to cover up the spackle and if she doesn't like the way it looks then she's gonna have the whole ceiling painted right now she doesn't want to do that um, they've had a lot of issues this year 
Um, they've, they've done some home upgrains and then they had a water main leak out in front of their house. Then they had the roof leak. So it was one thing right after another for these people. And they're good people and I hate to see it happen to them. So they're at the tail end of it now. They say things come in threes. So uh, we're trying to help them out here. And uh, let me get back in there because my helper uh, should be uh, putting canvases down on the floor right now preparing for the primer coat. So let me go in there and help her out and uh, we'll get back at this. So from the roof leak, there's several water spots that have run down. I don't know if you can see them or not. I guess you can here. And they're thick in spots. They run all the way up the wall. So what we're gonna use is extreme blocker. Uh, it's interior, exterior, it's oil based and it really covers the wall in good shape. Hey, here you see me dragging in all the staging pieces. As soon as they're all in place, my helper and I will put the staging up. We set it eight holes down from the top and that gives me just enough room to get the ladder to where I need to so that I can properly reach uh, to cut in the ceiling. Everything looks good from here. Everything looks good from here. Here you see me cutting in the ceiling. Fortunately, the guys at Sherwin Williams match this paint so perfectly that it doesn't even require blending. It's amazing.
twice it's two coats of, of the uh, color on it there's one coat of primer the primer covered all of the water stains um, right now it's drying we've got a couple fans blowing and that'll keep the wall allow the wall to dry a lot faster so we can get the furniture back you can see it's a little splotchy right now but as it dries it won't be that way it'll feather in nicely and then we got to put the cover plates back on for the heater and for the electric We did all the drywall repair and then we primed it and we painted it. It's 20 foot high. Difficult place to get to. Had to use staging and ladders. Breeze from those fans blowing good up here. I'm going to focus them more now on the bottom part of the build, uh, the wall, so that I can get the furniture back. So 20 feet up. That's what it looks like completed. It's all done. A little touch up on the wall right here. That's why it's shiny. Everything came out wonderful. Looks great. <laughs>